But I do have to teach them because, um, Haley, what happens is a lot of students don't follow the directions. And you have to be very careful. Because in your calculator, when we're talking about um, our trig functions, we can evaluate our trig functions in terms of radians or degrees. Just like if I say sketch an angle, that angle could be pi thirds or it could be 60 degrees. It's the same thing. One's in radian measure, one's in degree measure. So if I say evaluate tan of pi over 3, yes, we can go and use this to the unit circle. But if I say, you know, use a calculator and evaluate that, um, or you know, we'll get to some other ones on there. So what you're going to do is, first of all, if you're using a TI calculator, or even with the scientific, you're going to want to make sure you go to a mode where you can be able to d determine if you're using degrees or radians. So on the TI calculator, you hit the mode, and then you want to make sure radian is highlighted. Once it's highlighted, you can second mode, which would be second quit. And then all I'm simply going to do is type in tan of pi divided by 3. And that is going to be my decimal version of that answer, which is 1.732 as I um, round it to 1,000. Yes. I'll show you in a second. OK, everybody understand? And that's all you do. Um, so 